Welcome to the Street Poets Podcast. With poetry, I felt like I had a voice. And in the garden, I feel like I'm at home. And it's just like us. As long as you hold on to your roots, it keeps you alive. My mind was like, now what if I rap but without the beat, you know? <laughs> so I was uh, in and out of jail. I was on heroin and other drugs. I should not have survived that world. I found refuge in a library. I saw something strange. A dark, translucent mist snaking its way from Jason's belly up through his chest. I still get chills thinking about that moment. In our culture, I think people have a hard time sitting in silence, and I've been in spaces where silence is ritualized as free poets in a way that's really powerful. A poem about the apocalypse is the only true love poem I have about the love of my life. If we learn how to heal these traumas, if we learn how to access the gold that lives in that wound, then we can start to create the world that we want to live in. I got shot five times, point blank range. Dr. Little told me, we thought we lost you. When I got to juvenile detention camp, I was assigned a bed next to my worst enemy. One day he invited me to the Street Poets Writing Workshop. I never imagined that someone from the same group of people that took my life away would one day hand it back to me in the form of a pencil and a composition notebook.